How far can we get if we sail a little bit high, a little bit low? How far can we get if we sail a little bit high, a little bit low? We're still a little bit young, but I'm all in. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've already got my face makeup on to save time. It's just like what I do every single tutorial. So I'm taking my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which is my favorite at the moment, and I'm taking this transition shade and I'm putting this in my crease, making sure to blend it out really well. Now I'm taking a dark brown shade and I'm going to line slightly above the crease and this is because I'm doing a double cut crease so I need lots of space on the lid and I'm just following my natural curve of my eye and flicking it up to the end of my brow bone. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm putting some more dark brown shade on the brush and blending this upwards. Now I'm taking a lighter brown shade and I'm going to use this for the blending process so I'm just adding this on and making sure to blend that dark brown out really well and this is going to like make it look ombre almost. Now I'm going to add this shade from Makeup Geek, it's called Bitten, I love this so much, it's a nice burgundy shade and this is going to amp up the look a bit so I'm just blending that in really well and to warm up the look even more I'm going to take the shade Chickadee and I'm putting that on top of that bitten shade. And I'm taking this really far into the inner corners as well and this makes your eyes look so much bigger. Now I'm taking a shimmery shade from that palette and I'm putting this on my brow bone. Now I'm taking a MAC paint pot and this is the best way to do a cut crease. A paint pot's the way to go. You want to use this to really define that edge of the line and tidy up any mess you made and this is a perfect base to put the white on top of. So now I'm taking the whiter shade I can find and I'm covering that MAC paint pot base making sure to not get it on any of the brown cut crease that I created. And I'm also taking this white really far into the inner corner because this will make my eyes look huge. Now I'm taking the blackest shade I have and I'm creating like a winged liner with it, but it's not really a winged liner, it's kind of part of the eyeshadow, it just looks like a huge massive cat eye, and I'm extending it kind of three quarters on the way into my lid, and I'm filling out that outer edge with the black eyeshadow. Now I'm just taking a liquid liner and I'm just kind of sharpening up that outer edge and flicking it up, so it's more defined. And to darken that wing, I went in with my MAC Black Track Gel Liner and I just fill in that wing to make it way more black. Now I'm taking this ColourPop shade. I haven't used um, ColourPop eyeshadows before. I think I have like once, but I was really impressed with the pigmentation. This is such a nice purple shade and they're so affordable. They're like $5 each. So I'm just colouring in my whole... Lid, but I'm leaving that white space where the double um, cut crease is. So I'm taking this all the way to the inner corner but making sure not to get it on any of the white space. And I'm using a sharper brush to define the edge. This is an unnecessary step but I decided to do it. It's a MAC pigment and it's like a dark purple and I added this to the outer edge and kind of blended it into the black now I'm taking this shimmery shade, putting it in the inner corner and blending it into that purple. I didn't show me doing the lower lash line because it cut out on camera, but I just put purple on the center of the lower lash line and black on the outer corner of the lower lash line. And this is my favorite um, eyeshadow. This is the Astralis Metallics eyeshadow and I added it into the inner corner for some sparkle. And now all I'm doing is taking that white shade again and I'm just kind of making it more white and just going over any mess that I made. Now I'm taking that same black gel liner from MAC and I'm doing my tight line and waterline.
Now I'm taking that um, liquid liner again and I'm creating like a cat eye effect so I'm pointing out the inner corner. This will make your eyes look really big and cat like and it just looks amazing. Now I'm taking that paint pot again and I'm lining a small line underneath that wing and I would have done this with white eyeliner but it wasn't pigmented enough so I had to use this paint pot and then go over it with white eyeshadow and this just adds a nice detail to the eye makeup look. Now I'm putting on some mascara and some fake lashes and I'll do that off camera to save time. These are my favourite lashes by the way. And now I'm putting on a lip liner. This is so amazing, this lip liner. It's from Colourpop. It just glides on so easily. So I'm just doing a nice lip line and I'm colouring it in quite messily because I'm going to put a liquid lipstick on top of that. This is my favourite liquid lipstick. It's Dose of Colours Mood and it is such a nice dark vampy burgundy colour. And every time I wear it, I get compliments. So I'm going to keep on wearing this. So here's the finished makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot. And I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye.